Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here, Friday the 23rd of November. Thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Thanks for coming along to the site. As always, we're kept free of charge by the adverts that you see around the screen here. So by you coming back, using the site regularly, telling your friends about us, that's what keeps it free of charge. And also following us on Twitter and on Weather School, all part of the great package that means that we can keep the site free of charge. But what keeps it going is the adverts that that generates the revenue because this is a commercial activity so it's that that generates the revenue that um, that means that we can get the site updated regularly and give you the very latest information okay um well my head actually hurts there is so much weather going on over the next uh, few days that it's it's really difficult to keep up to speed with it so um, I'm gonna have to split um, this into two videos really we're gonna I'm gonna give you the short term and then record another video that will be in the longer term which you'll be able to see over the side of the screen is it that side or that side I can never remember which side um, but it's over the side of the screen under the featured channel click on that and it'll give you the uh, the longer range into December because some fascinating charts have arrived from the Japanese Meteorological Agency overnight which makes some very very uh, interesting uh, statements for December uh, but more on that in the other video as I said let's just get um, the next few days out of the way and we'll kick off uh, with the GFS um, predictions for uh, London these are the city graphs for London uh, for the next uh, seven days or so and red temperatures are maximums and you can see here how we kind of mild aren't we in this first period look going through the course of this weekend into uh, Monday and then into Tuesday but just look what happens as we head through late Monday into Tuesday this sharp fall off in temperature this is really starting to tank downwards now on the GFS and what the GFS is basically seeing there is a northeasterly flow developing which we'll see in a moment and dragging temperatures down day on day making things feel really raw now snow lovers amongst you don't get too excited because I don't think we're going to be seeing huge amounts of snowfall particularly in the next week there may be a little bit over high ground but I think this is probably a forerunner to something else so um, those temperatures look falling off and by the time we're getting through to the back end of next week we're going down below freezing this is the freezing level here and you can see those temperatures dipping down below so certainly we've got these cooler conditions are on their way and um, let's just uh, show you uh, some of the um, the other temperature charts there's Aberdeen look really they get hit by the cold weather straight away the cold weather already in and bouncing around the four or five degree mark um, they're cold really right the way through uh, Glasgow seeing temperatures fall Manchester well there they go look coming off um, during the next couple of days Birmingham well down it goes uh, yeah you see the same all over the country and rainfall totals of course this is the other big story at the moment is the is the rain the problem that we've got is that the river levels and the um, saturation of the ground is at such a level that it's not taking much for flooding to take place also I noticed lots and lots of drains are still blocked by leaves and that's also causing additional problems so let me just show you what happens here for rainfall this is the rainfall total by the end of the day today you see some rain some heavy showers of hitting western coast this is this morning's rain clearing away from the southeast but watch what <coughs> excuse me watch what happens late on tomorrow afternoon so this is the rain coming back into the south through sunday afternoon and then overnight into a sunday look at it track north eastwards it puts down an additional 15 to 20 millimeters through the midlands eastern parts of england but an additional 20 millimeters plus across southern england of course it's these areas that have experienced the flooding already so I think we are going to be seeing some more problems. Drier towards the north there you'll notice much much drier towards the north and then as we go on through the next few days you notice how the rainfall edges its way northwards. These are totals remember this is total rainfall from today and uh, if we just go through to the end of the sequence which takes us through to the uh, when are we now we're up to the 1st of December you can see how the southern coasts are picking up a couple of inches generally an inch to two inches across the rest of England and uh, Wales but the far north of England Scotland Northern Ireland faring much better higher pressure up there so lower rainfall totals predicted but this is what causes the problem now the next problem we have is winds tomorrow night because as low pressure tracks northeastwards it looks like being a really vicious area of low pressure that tracks northeastwards the GFS making less of it than other models but these are the gusts as it sees them tomorrow night as that area of low pressure tracks across uh, England and Wales seeing gusts of uh, up to sort of 37-38 uh, miles an hour tomorrow night 
I suspect this is underplayed. I think we're going to be seeing gusts of 50 miles an hour across a wide area of uh, the southern half of England and also Wales. So just be aware of that because add to that the wind really is going to make conditions tomorrow night not very pleasant at all. So what's going on? Well, uh, unsurprisingly, we've got low pressure up towards the northwest of Scotland. Here's the front that brought this morning's rain, just clearing off towards the east there. And you notice we go into this much drier, brighter day that we've got out there at the moment, just some heavy showers affecting western coasts of Scotland, England and also Wales. Now, overnight tonight, many areas are clear. Could be a touch of frost in places as well. Zeros to minus one, so some slippery roads to contend with as well by the time we get through to tomorrow morning. But by tomorrow morning, clouds already increased across East Anglia, southern England, southern parts of Wales. Rain coming onto the southern coast. Just watch that low. Ridge of high pressure, which is this little kink that you can see here in the isobars. That's ridge of high pressure. And it's that that's going to be bringing sunshine, I think, to many parts of Scotland, Ireland, probably the northern half of Wales, northern parts of the Midlands and northern England for tomorrow morning. So uh, we should find a very, very nice sunny start to the day through those areas. But that cloud and rain is going to be heading its way northwards tomorrow afternoon. The winds will be increasing, becoming severe gale force in the southwest later. Rain edges northwards, so that by mid afternoon, that's the limit of the rain, sort of mid Wales across to the middle parts of East Anglia. Heaviest of it in the southeast by then, dry still towards the north. And then that low tracks north was look overnight, taking heavy periods of rain with it. The track of the low seems to have fairly good agreement in taking that sort of progress northeastwards through the country. Looks like it's going to be across the Midlands. We'll see the heaviest of the rain in this area and that's where we could find some more flooding across anywhere, southern England and parts of Wales. Look how close together the isobars are, especially look on the southern side and just watch what happens. Whack! As we go into Sunday morning, this is 6 o'clock Sunday morning, very strong winds coming down these eastern coasts. I think this could be gusts of 50 miles an hour here and through southeast England. Still some heavy rain affecting northeast England through Sunday morning, parts of East Anglia, the eastern Midlands. Dry weather coming into the west through Scotland, through Ireland, but look, another area of low pressure. So I think Sunday then becomes brighter for a time. We find the winds easing, rain clearing away from eastern coast. Most places then dry, but just look, more rain coming in.